Toronto Raptors are reportedly going to honor legendary player Vince Carter by retiring his number 15 jersey. According to TSN, the iconic purple jersey is going to go up to the Raptors at the Scotiabank Arena next month when the Raptors take on the Sacramento Kings. For more on this story, we're joined this morning by Lucas Weiss. He's staff editor of News at The Athletic. Hey, welcome to the studio. Thanks so much for having me. I can tell you're really excited. First of all, um, explain the significance, the honor of having your number retired. Yeah, well, certainly for Vince Carter, he's the first member of the Toronto Raptors in franchise history to have his jersey in the Raptors. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a huge moment. And for Vince, he came to the Raptors at a time when the Raptors were just looking for someone to jolt some electricity and energy into the franchise. And he certainly did that when he came to Toronto for a time he was the best player in the NBA that dunk contest certainly yes. elevated his profile so for Vince to have his jersey number retired it just immortalizes him in, in a special place in franchise history and what did he do for this country in the NBA well he certainly elevated the popularity of basketball in Canada look he, the Raptors became a franchise in 1995 not, not many people knew about basketball but, but when he came he just made basketball a lot more exciting and Marie so Definitely something for, for fans to, to be able to reflect or remember someone so special yeah. like a Vince Carter. Especially now that we have a championship. A lot of people yeah. will look back and say it started with Vince. Uh, he has a complicated history, of though, course. with the city. There was all the celebration, and then there was a lot of hard feelings when he finally left. I remember him getting booed when he came back to play for the city. How did he go from hero to villain? Well, he, he was at odds with management towards yeah. the end of his career, and some fans felt like he just quit on the team at, towards the end of his time here in Toronto, and his, and his numbers certainly reflected that. And his first game back in Toronto, Anne-Marie, he was actually booed here. So yeah. definitely a lot of, of acrimony, but I feel like, as you know, the, the old adage, time heals. <laughs> that definitely happened with Vince Carter, and fans are certainly a, a lot more respected of, of him and when he was with the broadcaster in the championship season. So yeah. I feel like a lot of fans are certainly a lot more uh, in love with Vince Carter, but there are some fans on social media that feel like some other players could have had a, an opportunity to uh, be remembered compared to Vince Carter. Yeah, let me ask you about that, because there's a there's a sort of growing uh, chorus of people who are saying, why not Kyle? Why Vince, not Kyle? Well, I feel like with Kyle Lauer, he's still in the NBA, he's still playing, yeah. so, so I feel like you got to wait some time before he retires until Kyle Lowry gets immortalized. He will have his number most likely filled in, in, in the rafters, but I feel like for Vince, it's just a matter of time that he was going to have his place in franchise history and for someone that just had such an impact for basketball in this country and to be the first number retired, it's definitely a special honor for him. Absolutely. Carter's going to be enshrined in the Basketball Hall of Fame, but he plans to represent Toronto, which I thought was interesting, not the other cities he's played for. What do you think the city of Toronto meant to him, regardless of how things ended? What do you think overall it meant to him? Well, I, I think for me, you saw during the championship run, he was on the broadcast and a lot of fans were definitely, you know, respective of him and, and someone just, you know, said that. So I feel like Canada means a lot to Vince Carter and, and people will always remember the dunk contest and you see fans there giving him a standing ovation. I believe Anne-Marie, unlike his last time, first time back in Toronto, there's going to be a lot more fans giving him that respect when he's in Toronto for that November 2nd ceremony. I think, too, a, a real turning point uh, for him was also that documentary came out yeah. where people started to talk about what he had meant to this franchise, what he did for basketball in this country. Yeah, and people remember those big moments, right? They remember yeah. the dunk contest. They remember taking on Allen Iverson in that playoff series against the Philadelphia 76ers. So I just think that when you look at the Raptors franchise history and the story of this franchise, Vince Carter was that guy, and, and he will be one of the main factors why basketball is elevated in popularity in this country. All right, Lou Gleese with The Athletic. Thanks for coming in the studio. I Thanks can tell so you're much. excited. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.